then I said, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how I created this beautiful makeup look I have on. If you want to see how I did it, then please keep on watching this video. Let's get right into it. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, please, now is a good time to subscribe before I get right into the video. Using the Rimmel London Stay Matte Primer. This primer should actually help the foundation stay longer over my face. This forehead, cheek area, chin and nose yeah just a prime so this is the foundation here i'm just putting about two puffs on the, of the foundation on the brush i like about this foundation i like the fact that i got it in a shade that is some sort of darker than my skin because i always get complaints about how my foundation is too light for my face so i think i just wanted to get a foundation that was some sort of darker on my forehead area as well <laughs> so the next thing i'm going to do i'm going to proceed now with um uh, highlighting my face i'm going to use the zikel second skin concealer to highlight my face yeah. So what I'm going to do now, blend in the highlight. I'll just start from my chin. And then blend in my Cupid's bow. Area. Just press it in while I look up. So I'm sort of just extending it towards my brow area a bit. So you can see, despite the fact that I used a darker foundation all over my face, it doesn't really matter anymore because now with this highlight I'm doing, it sort of just um, warmed up really well with my skin and it just looks um, so much better. So for the concealer around my nose area, I'm using my fingers just to blend it downwards yeah, along the edge of my nose. So the next thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to proceed towards contouring my face and I'm using the LA Girl Pro Concealer in Dark Cocoa and around my forehead but I don't think my forehead actually needs this cream contouring because it's already warm with the darker foundation I use so I'll just use just a little of it then I'll go back into my foundation brush and I'll start to blend that concealer towards my hairline area yeah just warming it up a bit more. Yeah, one more, one more, one more. Then for the one along my jawline, I'm just bringing it upwards. And same here. Bring it upwards. To contour the sides of my nose, I'm going to use the Elegal Pro Concealer in Chestnut. It's not as dark as the dark cocoa, so it's just a softer contour i don't like the contours on my on the sides of my nose being very harsh as i'm choosing to use this chestnut concealer the dark cocoa concealer yes then i also applied my um i'm going to use this brush right here to blend the contours on the sides of my nose and also blend this one right here so what i'm going to proceed towards doing right now is setting the highlights on my face and i'm going to use the color pop no filter setting powder in the shade banana apply on my skin so i'm just taking it on the brush then i'll start to just um, pack that powder on my under eye area just put it there and same thing for my other eye yeah so i'm also going to set the other part of my face that i highlighted too so my forehead area all right, my Cupid's bow and my chin and also along the edge of my nose. It's better if you use a smaller brush ball. Anyway, this whatever you have. So I just set the contours on the edge of my nose. Next, I'm going to proceed towards contouring my face and I'm going to be using, rather setting the darker parts of my face and I'm using the Black Opal Loose Powder in Deep. Black Opal Deep. Yeah dig in a bit into the powder and I'll start to use that powder to set the other parts of my face meet my chin area 
my forehead area as well and sort of just extend it towards like my lower face area while I'm leaving out my eye area you can see how I'm doing it just basically all around my face <laughs> did you hear <laughs> So guys, next, I want to define the sides of my nose. I'm trying to make this makeup as simple as possible because man, my mom is already telling me, Oh yeah, oh now I'm a cuckoo. So I'm just contouring the sides of my nose right now. I'm starting to do my eyebrows right now. Put some feathery strokes. I'm Yeah, I'm almost done. I'm going to my brows. I want to edit this part out of the video. Huh? I want to edit this part out of the video. Ah. <laughs> 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 I'll be done in five minutes. I'm going to work, man. I'll be done in five minutes, please. I want to highlight underneath my brow area. So I'm going to define my brows. I'm going back to my, I'm going back to my brow pencil. Just, uh, I'm going to be using A No Beauty, the Divine Eyeshadow Palette, right here, and I'm going to apply this eyeshadow here in Shayo all around my eyelids. Just blend Shayo all around. Yeah. Using just a very simple makeup look today. Just one simple eyeshadow. All around, all around, all around, all around. Blend her. I'm going to repeat the same on my other eyes. Turning it towards my upper eyelid space a bit. I'm gonna go back to that brush which I used in blending the concealer on my eyelid space just to sort of um, make sure it's not too harsh. There, sort of just um, um, lighting up the way the color looks. But I'll go back to the same brush now and just sort of. Um, Deepen it a bit more. Yeah. Okay, eyeliner. Wait, I doubt. Yeah. So simple eyeliner look. I'm not even going to even extend it towards the inner part of my eyes, just the outer side. Yeah. Right here and also just right here as well. Yeah, repeat same on the other eyes. Just look up like the way I open my eyes and just um, put that mascara there. Then repeat same on your bottom lash. Instead of you're looking down while you're looking straight into the mirror. I'm just popping on 
mascara in your lashes is so I'm using the Milani um, compact powder I'm going to just take this powder and start to dust off all of the setting powder I use underneath my eyes and just sort of just blend it all over my face uh, see what I'm doing right here I'm taking off the leftover of the banana powder I'm just applying this powder all over my face yeah So this area where it seems like I have too much concealer going on, I'm just going to just blend that out. I'll clean out this mascara stain I have here. Uh, same thing here as well. The next I can proceed to highlighting my face. Oh, let me just apply my blush. I'm going to use this Divine Eyeshadow Palette here. I'm going to use this eyeshadow here for my blush. This Shio eyeshadow, the same one I used on my eyelid. I'm gonna apply it on my cheeks. As my blush, I repeat the same on my other cheeks here. Yes. So now to highlight my face, I'm going into the booming highlighter. Just a little highlighter goes a long way, don't take so much. Especially when you're using a um scattered highlighter that's the one that is not pressed so a little here a little there and i'll blend it with the other side blend it in now for the highlighter on the bridge of my next my nose i'm going to use my finger tip and just stick it and apply it right there a little of it just on the bridge of my nose oh i think i already did there but just blend that in Yeah, I don't need the highlight on the bridge of the nose. Next, I want to just clean out the contour on the sides of my nose. Then next, I'm applying my lipstick right now. And the lipstick I'm going to be using is also from ENL Beauty. These two lipsticks from ENL Beauty. So guys, this is the finished makeup look. Tell me what you think about it. If you like this makeup look, make sure you give it a huge thumbs up, like it, share with your friends, and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye guys. Purchase our limited edition makeup product from our website www.enlpcng.com.